Hello there, I'm painting a little nostalgic scene today with acrylics. It's called Christmas Night. And if you want to paint along, these are all the colours. So let's get started. I've got my soft brown brush and I'm mixing up a muted yellow colour. That's yellow ochre and some black. Okay, I've already marked a midway line on the side of the board. And from here we can begin to paint in a little box shape. This is going to be the gable end of the cottage. Next, on top of this, we're going to add on a rough triangle shape. And it definitely doesn't have to be a perfect triangle. That's a good start. At this point, you don't have to be too neat with the cottage. Just a basic shape will do. Uh, later on, we're going to tidy it up anyway with when we put the snow in. Another triangle for the smaller roof. There we go. I think we'll leave it at that and make a start on the sky. So I've got my flat bristle brush and I'm mixing up a dark blue color. That's cerulean blue and black. And if you'll notice, I've also put out an extra amount of cerulean blue and some white, which I'll be using in just a minute. Okay, now grab some cerulean blue. And I want to blend this in with the dark colour while it's still damp. Adding a little white to the mix now and continue on down. I really like using the bristle brush when I'm painting a sky like this. Um, it creates all these lovely little variations in colour. Now grab a little white and turn your brush on its side. And you want to just gently stroke the board to give the impression of faraway snow being carried across the sky by the wind. It's like you're barely touching the board and no more. Just tidying up the bottom bit here. Okay, clean your brush now and make sure it's nice and dry. And we'll grab some white. I want to create the impression of a faraway snowy hill. So I'll outline the shape that I want first and then gently pull the paint downwards so that it thins out along the bottom. I think I'll add a little more white here, just a touch to highlight the top. All right, let's get the reef on our cottage now. That's it, get all that lovely snow on.
Going to paint in the chimneys now, and for this, I've mixed up some more of the yellow ochre and black that we used for the cottage. And I'm putting a, just a wee tilt on this smaller chimney here, just to add a bit of character. All right now, I think we've got the basic shape of the roof done. So with my fine liner brush again, I'm mixing up a nice off-white colour to paint in the brickwork around the chimneys. And it's little details like this that just make your painting look a little more special. black now for the chimney pots and you might want to paint them on a little bit wonky as well just to add some extra character there that's a good one this is a fairly dark color now that I'm mixing up and um, we'll use this to paint in the porch I've decided to add some colour variation to the cottage, so I've just lightly muted some yellow ochre for this. In go the windows now, and for the base coat I'm just using yellow ochre. I think I'll put a wee tiny window here and maybe I'll make this one a wee bit longer. All right, the window should be dry by now. Time to add in some window light, and we're going to start off with orange. There, and you don't need much. Cadmium yellow now for the top of the windows. And to show what time of the year it is, I've put a wee emerald green Christmas tree in the window. White for the clinging snow. So to create a colour harmony, I'm painting the cottage door cerulean blue to match the sky. And to put a little highlight on the door here, I've simply mixed some white in with the blue. I want to paint a hedge in the mid-ground now, so real easy, blue and a little black. And you don't want too much paint on your brush, otherwise you'll end up with a big long blob instead of a hedge. So I'm starting this hedge as if it's just come out from behind the cottage, and then I'm going to gently tap my way along. 
as a wee tip, maybe you'll want to practice this, say, on a piece of cardboard first, just until you get the hang of it. I'm going to leave a gap in the hedge here so that whoever lives in the cottage can go for a nice little walk. And who knows, maybe they'll venture as far as that snowy hill we just painted in. <laughs> I think I'll do a wee bit behind the cottage as well. And that's more or less the mid-ground done. Let's put some snow shadow on the cottage roof now. I'm just mixing a tiny amount of black into the cerulean blue here. Get rid of all the excess paint, then dip your brush into some white. When I'm thinking of ideas for paintings, I try to imagine the, the kind of cottage that I'd like to live in. For me, it would definitely need to be somewhere in the countryside, maybe up on the hills or, or close to a forest. That would be ideal. Inside this cottage, I imagine there's a, a lovely, comfortable living room with a, a big stone Englenook fireplace. There's also a, a country-style kitchen, and the little room in the front here is the dining room. As you can see, I've just switched to my fine liner brush for the shadow around the edges here. Couldn't do without this wee brush. Moving on now to the base colour for the foreground snow. And we want to mix up quite a light muted blue colour for this. Mix just a, a touch of black in with the blue. Remove all the excess paint that's on your brush, then lift a good amount of white. And that's more or less the colour we want. This is where you can begin to neaten everything up. I'm going to go along and tidy the bottom of the hedge. around the cottage being careful here I want to push the door just a touch back into the porch okay that looks good Mixing up a slightly darker shade for the very front of the painting now. Just not using so much white this time. For the window frames, I'm using a very dark yellow ochre and black mix. More or less the same colour that we used for the porch. Moving on to the foreground bushes and trees now. And we want a fairly dark colour to work with. So mix up some cerulean blue with a fair amount of black. Again, I'm gently tapping in where I want everything to go. And once you get the hang of this, it's really easy. Just takes a bit of practice, that's all.
There we go, there's a couple more bushes in. All right, let's paint in a, a nice Christmassy lamppost. And I've used yellow ochre and black again to harmonize with the color of the cottage. And that's painted in a bit wonky to give it some character. Beginning the lamp glow now with yellow ochre on its own. Let that dry, then follow it up with some cadmium yellow. Let that dry, then we'll paint the bulb in with white. All right, I think I'm happy with that. There's plenty of character there. Grab some more of the yellow ochre and black mix, and let's paint in a, a big old Christmas tree. To paint in the branches of our Christmas tree, I have this bristle brush that's tapered at the end. You can buy them like this. So I want to start off with a dark mix of the blue and black. And you want to just turn your brush to the side and do little gentle strokes of the brush like this. Start from the bottom and work your way up to the top. I've got my fine liner brush and I'm adding in some colour now to the tree, some cerulean blue on its own, and this will harmonise nicely with the cottage door. And here I've added some white to the blue now. And it's just to give the impression of clinging snow. Alright, make sure your bristle brush is clean and dry, and let's highlight the foreground snow. And I'm just going to begin in the middle here, thinning the paint outwards gradually so that it fades into the snow shadow around the edges of the painting. You want to have the strongest area of white around the main focal point, which is the cottage door and the lamppost. Just going to add some white underneath the two foreground bushes here. But not too much though, just gently dragging my brush across. There's a wee mound of snow that's just collected at the Christmas tree. And another one at the lamppost. The snow seems to have piled up against here too. I felt that the front here should be a little darker, so I've simply mixed up a darker shade of our snow shadow colour. For the snow clinging to the bushes around the cottage, I've mixed up some cerulean blue with just a touch of white. And after that dries, I like to add in some snowy highlights with white. And let's put some in the tree as well. I also like to highlight the window light, which is simply a mix of white 
and a tiny amount of cadmium yellow. Just wee touches here and there, but it's details like this that fairly makes a difference. Okay, for the window light and lamp light on the snow, I'm mixing up a tiny amount of orange in with white. Again, just wee touches here and there. I'm just going to do the chimney smoke now. So for that, I'm mixing up a tiny amount of cerulean blue in with white. When you're painting in the smoke, just let the wind carry it across the sky. To finish off this painting and make it really Christmassy, let's put some falling snow in. Well, I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I've given you some tips and ideas for your own paintings. So until the next time, take care and thanks for watching.